Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 44 at chapter 8. This chapter is about the conservation of energy. See, you can see at first, we don't consider the air resistance. The airplane initial position, we just consider vertical. The, the airplane initial velocity is V1. We can convert it to unit meter per second. The position Y1 is given. And finally, it reaches to position Y2. At y2, we need to find its velocity, and y2, this position 0 is given. So in this problem, it's very easy, right? The conservation of energy. Initial energy equals to the final energy. So initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy equals to the final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. And then we can input y2, 0 inside, and then we can solve the v2 very easily in this equation, 294 meter per second. The second question asks you what was the average force of air resistance if we consider the air resistance if it comes to in, in at a constant angle 12 degree. So that means the angle theta is given. This angle theta is given. And also the eventually land at a speed 210 km per hour. So that means the velocity V2 is also given. V2 is given, so we can convert it to unit meter per second. See, initially it is zero, finally it is zero. So we can still consider the energy conservation, agree? Initial energy is still only the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. And the final energy, energy has the final kinetic energy, final potential energy. And also, we must consider the thermal energy because there we consider air resistance, right? We need to find the force of air resistance force. This one comes from the work done by the friction force. So friction force, uh, work done by friction force, friction force times distance it covered. How much distance it covered? See, this is y1, this is y2. So this side equal to y1 minus y2. This is angle theta. Can you find this length? Sure. The d is y1 minus y2 divided by sin theta. Agree? Yes. Then we can input the known quantities y2 equal to 0. And you can say in this equation, v1 is given, y1 is given, v2 is given, mass is given. So super easy. You can get this fraction force, 2400 newton. Thank you.